In this work, we consider a fabric manipulation technique named smocking, which was originally developed to enhance the stretchability of fabric and make it more durable. Following a carefully designed pattern, the technique involves stitching several points on the backside of a flat fabric. This results in the formation of intricate and aesthetically pleasing pleats on the front side of the fabric in a rather surprising form that is hard to predict from the stitching pattern. In 2023, Ren and colleagues introduced an automatic method for digitally previewing smocked results. However, it's limited to standard patterns, for which the result is inherently flat. This limitation inspired us to look at the inverse problem. Can the original stitching pattern be modified to introduce curvature? Is there a way to computationally modify a given smocking pattern such that after fabrication, the smocked result closely approximates the target shape? Concretely, when provided with a 3D shape and a stitching type as input, our aim is to compute a precise 2D stitching pattern. Following the fabrication process, the expected outcome is a close approximation of the input shape with regular pleats. We call it the fabric tessellation problem. In contrast to origami tessellation, where the shape approximation is achieved by folding unneeded parts of paper inwards and hiding them, fabric tessellation approximates the shape by pushing some textile parts outwards to form pleats. The challenge for fabric tessellation lies in designing patterns that yield aesthetically pleasing pleat arrangements while approximating a target shape. Adapting previous work for the inverse design problem proves challenging, as the proposed method requires discrete graph operations and is restricted to solving part of the graph embedding in 2D. In this work, we introduce the Tangram graph to address the inverse problem. Within the input smocking pattern, an edge is termed an underlay edge if it connects two different stitching lines, as highlighted on the right. The subgraph of the smocking pattern consisting of all underlay edges is called the Tangram graph, as highlighted by the blue edges. This Tangram graph is semantically meaningful as its edges partition the smocking pattern into distinct and disconnected regions. Regions devoid of stitching lines are called underlay faces, as highlighted in blue on the left. The complementary areas containing stitching lines are called pleat faces, as highlighted in pink on the right. The Tangram provides an intuitive explanation of how the pleats are formed during smocking. As the stitching lines are pulled taut, they drag the blue underlay faces and cause them to rotate and squeeze the pink pleat regions. As a result, the pink regions pop out of the plane to form pleats. Tangram establishes a connection between the 2D pattern and the 3D smocked result, making it capable of solving the inverse problem. Specifically, we first extract the Tangram graph from the smocking pattern and compute its closed configuration to obtain a unit tile. Based on its symmetry, we compute a seamless parameterization for the input shape that can exhibit singularities. The tiled grid is pulled back to obtain a semi-regular mesh that approximates the input shape. We proceed to optimize the original 2D geometry of the Tangram in its open configuration to match target distances from the new mesh. As a result, the Tangram is deformed such that it can reproduce the target shape in its closed configuration. Finally, we extract the stitching pattern and use it as a reference for fabrication. In this example, we demonstrate the full pipeline to realize a bumpy plane by smocking. This example demonstrates optimization for a seamless smocking pattern. We highlight the matching seams in the same color. We offer a digital preview tool based on the Tangram representation and a seamless version of a rigid-as-possible deformation to provide users an idea of what the smocked fabrication could look like.
please see our paper for more details.